Hello, in this CyberStart cybersecurity walkthrough, we'll be doing the headquarters space and level 13. Level 13 is one of the hardest levels in CyberStart, and we'll be doing one of the hardest challenges. So let's get started. In level 13, we'll be doing challenge three, run server run. Let's go to the challenge. Looking at the briefing, we can see that they, they obtained another TCP server and we need to connect to it. After we connect to it, we should receive some details. So let's get started. So first thing here is we have to figure out how to connect to a TCP server. There are multiple ways. The simplest way would be using Netcat. So let's get started. I'm in a Mac, so I'm going to open the terminal. And then you could type NC to use Netcat. And then we would specify the server. So services.cyberprotection.agency. And let me remove the additional space. And now we can add the port number on the right side of this. And we're on port 13777. Hmm, interesting. So we see some, I guess, text. An important thing to note here is that it seems it's encrypted. And looking at it, we can't see any obvious pattern or way to decrypt it. So we're kind of lost on the direct way. Let's look at a tip again. So in the tip, we can see that they say files are made up of data. So it can indicate to us that that's some data and maybe it's part of a file. In that case, it's more helpful to get this as a file rather than just some text. So what we can do here is actually specify the information we get from the server into a file. So I'm gonna type the same command above by pressing the up arrow and then using the greater than sign, we can specify what file we want it to go into. So I'm gonna say out.txt. Great, so now we save the output into a file called out.txt. And one thing to note here is we have to know what file it is. So let's do file and then let's do out.txt so we can understand what's in the file. So it's a zzip and it's compressed data. Let's also cap the file to see if the information we got here is actually in the file. Great, so it is. So since we know it's a zzip, we can try to unzip it. So um, a common unzipper is gunzip. We can do gunzip and then the name of our file, so out.txt. Hmm. It seems that it has been ignored. So we got an error and it says unknown suffix ignored. So that could mean that since the file is in a .txt format, that it's not registering properly because for a zzip compressed file it has to be .z gz. So we, what we can do is we can change the name of the file. So a quick way to do that using the terminal is mv. So we're going to move it from out.txt to out.gz. So now our file name has changed. So now we can attempt to unzip it again. So let's do gunzip, but this time we'll gunzip out.gz. Great. So it seems that trailing garbage is ignored. So there may be some part of file at the end that's exactly not correct, but the unzip process did finish. So now we can try to see what's in it. Now that we have unzipped the file, the name of the file should be just out. So to see what's in it, we could just do cat and then out, and that should give us the flag. So I have just did cat and out, and so I'm gonna put my flag here, and now I'm gonna press enter. And great, we have solved this challenge. The reason I didn't show the flag is because most of the learning happens when you actually go through the process of figuring out how to get the flag. And see you in the next challenge.